Hi, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Hi, everyone. Good evening. Very good. Good to see you. Today, we are going to be studying on class number 10. All right. Este día vamos a desarrollar la clase número 10. We are going to study um, the whole week the section number four, which is called Broccoli is Good for You. Okay. So let's get started. Vamos a iniciar ya. Let's see. Do you remember? It says, number one, mention at least five vocabulary words from the food pyramid, all right? Como no todos pasaron ayer, vamos a hacer ahorita la practice, all right? Eh, con los que están aquí. So, antes de hacer las preguntas, vamos a hacer la practice, the vocabulary. We are going to start with, vamos a iniciar con Julio Aguillón. No sé si le funciona el micrófono. Yes. Yes, okay. By usted va a ser fat, oil, and sugar. Meat and other protein and dairy. Action. White and tea, very well. Me la podría agrandar, por Ah, you don't see the letter. Okay, let me, let me just help you with this. Yes. Okay. Uh, green, butter, candy, oil. Potato cheese, fish, bean, nuts, chicken, eggs, beef, milk, yogurt, cheese. All right, excellent. Thank you. Let's go with. Let me check who else do we have in class. Oscar, please continue with fruit, vegetables, and grains. Banana, apple, orange, cranberry, mango, broccoli, carrot. Esta fila de luz. Eso sí no me gusta. Eh, tomato, tomato, potato, potato, seed, cereal, broccoli. Right. All right, thank you. Repeat after me. Repeat after me, Oscar. Carrots. Carrots. Broccoli. Broccoli. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Lettuce. Lettuce. Potatoes. Potatoes. Very good. Excellent, sir. Thank you. Let's go with the next one. Vamos con los siguientes. I'm going to have... Jorge Luis Castaneda, please. Fat, oil, and sugar. Meat and other protein and dairy, please. And, and repeat, please, Tisha. The first fat three. Fat and oil, sugar. Ah? Fat and oil, fat, oil, and sugar. Sí, y también meat and other protein and dairy. Okay. Fat, oil, and sugar. Cream. Butter. Candy, oil, potato chips, meat and other protein, fish, beans, chicken, nuts, eggs, beef, dairy, milk, cheese, and yogurt. 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 Excellent, okay. sir. Very good. Vamos con Yolanda Flores. Fruit, vegetables, and grains. Bananas, apples, oranges, strawberries, mangoes. Vegetable, broccoli, carrots, lettuce, toma tomatoes, potatoes. Grains, bread, cereal, crackers, 
rice, as grains, uh, rice, um, noodles, noodles, pasta. Excellent, thank you. Let's go with Ernesto Portillo. Fat, oil, and sugar, meat, and other protein, and dairy, please. Okay. Green, butter, candy, oil, potato teeth, fish, bean, chicken, nuts, beef, egg, meal, yogurt, cheese. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Very good. Moises Reyes, please. Fruit, vegetables, and grains. Fruit. Fruit. Bananas. Orange. Strawberries. Aquí sería oranges. Orange. Oranges. 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 Strawberries. Mangoes. Apples. Uh, vegetables, uh, broccoli, carrots, lettuce, tomatoes, potatoes. Uh, ¿Cuál otro me dijo? Grains. Ah, grains, ok. Bread, cereal, cracker, rice, noodles, pasta. All right, repeat after me, vegetables. Vegetable. Excellent, very good, thank you. Let's go with Sandra Guadalupe, please. Fat, oil, and sugar, meat, and other protein, and dairy. Okay. Fat, oil, and sugar. Cream, butter, oil, candy, potato chips. Meat, uh, fish, beans. Nuts, chicken, beef, eggs, and dairy, milk, cheese, yogurt. All right, uh, repeat again, eggs. Eggs, eggs. eggs. Yes, thank okay. you. Let's go with, uh, let me check, let me check, who didn't pass yesterday. Felix, please, fruit, vegetables, and grains. Okay, teacher. Bananas, apples, orange, strawberries, mangoes, broccoli, carrots, tomatoes, potatoes, lettuce, bread, yes. bread, cereals, crackers, rice, noodles, pasta. Repeat after me, noodles. 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 Oranges. Oranges. Yes, very good. Thank you. Now, let me check if I'm missing somebody else. No, I think most of you passed yesterday. Ahora bien, ya vimos este vocabulary, so let's, let me ask you. Ya se lo pueden, lo estuvimos discutiendo el día de ayer, all right? Practicamos con él. So let's check if you remember something. Veamos cuáles son los que recuerdan. Let me ask Vanessa Scarlett, please. Mention at least five vocabulary words from the wood food pyramid. Words. Mm -hmm. Tiene que ser, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. Um, de la pirámide que acabamos de ver. Es, eh, bread. Uh -huh. um, carrot. Yes. Yogurt. Yogurt. Uh -huh. eh, apples. Uh -huh. Mm. Yeah, noodles. Noodles, very good, excellent, Vanessa, that's correct. Let me have Omar Chacon, tell me another five vocabulary words, please. Okay, H, beef, creo que es el beef, verdad, la carne. Yes. Sí, y la otra era eggs, huevo, verdad? Ah, ah huevo, okay, uh -huh. ¿cómo es solo de eggs? Yes. X. Va, X. Es que como yo no estuve en la clase ayer, pero igual. X, beef, chicken, nuts, beans, beans, ¿cómo se dice frijoles? Beans. 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 Beans.
Ah, yes, okay. very good, Omar. Con eso tiene. Five. Very good. Gracias. You're welcome. Let's go with. Déjenme ver quién más wasn't yesterday. Yvette, tell me another five vocabulary words, please. Orange, strawberries, cheese, yogurt, and tomatoes. Very good, excellent, thank you. Now, everyone, there you go. Sus so, compañeros acaban de dar el mismo vocabulary, porque ya lo repasamos, lo vimos el día de ayer y lo vemos ahora. Ahora veamos los guiding examples. No vamos a hacer la número dos porque todavía no hemos trabajado en esta actividad. So let's check. It says, I like butter and oil. I don't like candies and cream. Miren, esta palabra, por ahí escuché que algunos me decían green, green, y no. No es color verde, right? It's cream, cream. My mother likes fish, nuts, and beans, but she doesn't like cheese and yogurt. All right? Recuerden que el hecho de que estemos utilizando vocabulario nuevo no, no significa que vamos a olvidar las... las Reglas gramaticales, right? Por el caso de la tercera persona, ustedes ya saben que el verb tiene que llevar la S. Now, let me hear you. Vamos a preguntarle a... No, a pedirle a Josué Granados. Please, léame the three sentences. Okay. I like butter in oil. I don't like candies and grain. My mother likes it. Not and beat wood, she doesn't like shit and yogurt. All right, repeat after me. Cream. Cream. Mm -hmm. Cheese. Cheese. Yogurt. Yogurt. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Very good. All right. Creo que algunos de ustedes están tomando notas, so you can do it. Pueden hacerlo, right? De hecho, ya lo van a necesitar porque van a trabajar en eso. So far, do you have any question about the vocabulary? Hasta ahorita, ¿tienen alguna duda o consulta del vocabulary? Or everything is clear? Yes. Okay, good. Let me know when you're finishing, when you finish taking notes. All right, remember that you are able to use more verbs, right? Recuerden que usted puede utilizar otro verbo, no es, no es obligación que usted va a utilizar like. Puede utilizar eat, all right? O sea, usted puede decir, I don't eat candies and cream, all right? I don't drink Coca-Cola. I drink orange juice, all right? Eh, no es específicamente que estemos viendo el tema de likes and dislikes sino que usted puede utilizar cualquier otro verbo que usted sienta que es esencial. Now, let's check the practice time. Vamos a la práctica. Let me hear you. Vamos a pedirle a... Moisés Reyes, please. Can you read? Solo me va a leer la number one and number two. Okay, practice time. Number one, this is word individual. Create sentences, sentence, pardon, sorry. Create sentence using the food pyramid. All right, repeat after me, sentences. Sentences. Excellent, thank you. Yvette, continue with number three and four, please. 
use each of the categories from the pyramid. Mm -hmm. For some sentences shall be on third person singular. Excellent. Thank you, right? Quiere decir, eh, dice, create, la número dos dice, create sentences using the food pyramid. Y la tres, como mencionó Yvette, dice, use each of the sentences from the pyramid. Eso sería mucho trabajo porque son, déjenme ver, cuatro, cinco, seis, seis categorías, all right? Tendrían que ser seis oraciones. Así que no, solo tomen tres categorías, all right? Pueden escoger de tres categorías. Pueden mezclarlo, right? No problem. Entonces, al final lo que quiero son three sentences, right? Y recuerden, la, la instruction dice que deben de utilizar al menos en una o en dos la third person singular, la tercera persona singular, right? Porque quiero ver cómo estamos trabajando con eso ya. So let's work on it. Trabajemos con eso en su cuaderno, please.
Bye. <clears throat>Listo. Yes, Ernesto? Yes. Are you finished? Sí. Okay, let's wait uh, one more minute and we are going to start sharing, all right? Vamos a esperar un minuto más para que ya la mayoría vaya finalizando y luego vamos a empezar a compartir. All right, let's get started. So let's see, what do you have, Julio? Can you share, please? Yes, I like beans and green for breakfast. Very good. My sister doesn't eat beef. She's a vegetarian. Vegetarian, wow. I don't like, I don't like vegetables. I prefer fruit. Ah, okay. Well, very good. You can have vitamins from each of them. Puede obtener la vitamina de cualquiera de los dos. All right. Very good, Julio. Excellent. Thank you. Let's listen to Moises, please. And then Ernesto. You may start, Moises. Ah, perdón. Estaba muteado. Okay. I really like soup of beans. Bean soup. Bean soup. Mm -hmm. uh, sería, ah, o sea, sería bean soup, no soup, mm -hmm. bean. No. Ah, okay. I don't eat atum because I allergic is is okay the the word. Yeah, because I'm allergic. Allergic, ah, allergic. I'm allergic to this food. Uh, uh, atum se dice tuna. Ah, tuna, cierta, tuna, tuna. Yes. Cierta. My brother cooked for the tomorrow lunch a beef with rice. Aquí podría cambiar a, a steak porque ya está cocido. Ah, pero, pero su hermano cocina, va a cocinar sí. o está cocinando? Eh, Bueno, aquí solo le puse eso por poner, pero no, no lo congelé. Co cocinó para mañana, cocinó cooking sería. No, si es cocinó es pasado y estamos en presente. Lo que puede decir es, my brother cooks. Uh, no, no se puede. Mi hermano cocina la comida de mañana. Tiene que ser en progresivo. Sí. Mi hermano está cocinando la comida de mañana. Y ya no sería simple present. Ok. Yes. Good. So we can we can change that verb, right? And also the action. The other two are perfect. Las otras dos están perfectas, Moses. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Let's go with Ernesto. Okay. A drink a fish mango. Uh, I like candy. They don't sing like fish. La número dos, ¿podría repetirla, please? 
eh, I like candy. I like. I like. Es que eso me cuesta pronunciar. I like candy. No es que me gusta los dulces. Yes, very good. Me too. <laughs> A mí no, también. Okay. All right. Uh, puede ponerlo así, mire, para que no se le olvide. Like. Like. La pronunciación. Okay. I like. Very Gracias. good. Excellent. Si están correctas. Very good, Ernesto. Now, let's check. Vamos a preguntarle a Jennifer Marisol y después Omar Chacón. Hello, teacher. Voy llegando y no sé realmente. Estoy de su right. No se preocupe, Jennifer. Don't Estoy worry. No se... y intenté escucharlo, pero no lo logré. Ok, don't worry. No se preocupe. Vamos con Omar Chacón entonces y después Sandra Guadalupe. Ok, teacher. My new friend, do it. Candy and juice. Así se llama jugo. ¿Cómo se dice jugo? Juice. 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 Mm -hmm. I don't like nudle, noodles. 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 ¿Cómo? Noodles. Noodles. Ah, va. Uh, I don't like noodles. Y la última sería, I like yogurt and cereal, but my, my brother don't like drinks yogurt. Mm, my brother don't or my brother doesn't. Ah, sí, perdón. My brother doesn't like drinks yogurt. Uh -huh. My brother doesn't like to drink yogurt. To drink yogurt. Ah, to drink yogurt. Excellent. Thank you. That, okay. That's correct. Mire, eh, Omar, yo inventé esta pronunciación para noodles, por si. Sí. Noodles. Uh, ok, sí, porque noodles. así lo había escrito. Muchas gracias. All right. Yes, there you go. Now let's check. Vamos a ver a alguien más. ¿A quién le había dicho? Ya se me olvidó. Ah, a Sandra. Después de Sandra, Vanessa Scarlett. I like to eat strawberries with cream. Mm -hmm. And my son likes to drink ice milk. The other one, y la otra, Sandra. Um, I don't like pasta and rice. All right, very good, Sandra. There you go, excellent. Vaya, miren, cuando ustedes vayan leyendo sus oraciones, si, si yo no le digo nada después de cada una de las oraciones, significa que vamos bien, all right? Si yo lo paro y le digo, mm, repeat that again, o aclaremos esto, all right? Ahí sí, usted puede esperarme. Pero si no, usted continúe hasta que me le dan las tres oraciones, all right? Significa que van bien. Now, let's check. Uh, let's go with Vanessa, please. Después de Vanessa, Jorge Luis Cataneda. Okay. Uh, every morning, every morning I eat a, a plate of cereal with milk. A plate my, of cereal. Uh -huh. Plat o plate, plates. Vaya, en realidad sería bowl, porque no comemos en un plato normal, sino que comemos en un bowl. Ok, entonces sería, every morning I eat a bowl of a cereal. Bowl of, a bowl of cereal with meat, así, ¿verdad? Exactly, yes. Okay. Uh, segunda, is my nephew doesn't like the fish but he likes the meat. Mm -hmm. And uh, I like to prepare a uh, uh, chicken soup with noodles. Very good, excellent. That sounds delicious. This is suena delicioso, Vanessa. <laughs> Very <laughs> good. Now let's check. Uh, let's go with Jorge, please. Después iría Yvette Aguirre. Okay, um, I love eat meat. <laughs> and my mom doesn't eat candies. And every morning, my breakfast is eggs and milk. Very good, excellent. That's correct. Thank you, Jorge. Let's go with Yvette, please. Y después, Oscar. My sister like strawberry with cream for dessert. Wow. I like 
chicken noodle soup. He eats a, a, um, apple pie every weekend. Wow, excellent. Thank you, Ben. Very it's well organized. Huh? What happened, Moises? El micrófono, no estoy hablando con mi hermano, perdón. Ok, good. Now let's continue with the following, que era Oscar. Después de Oscar iría Félix. I make cookies. He make some very jelly. My mother likes bread with butter. Bread with butter. Vaya. My mother like or my mother likes? Like, de gustar. Sí, pero ¿le puso ese o no le puso ese a like? No, uh, no. ¿Ah? No, no le puso. Tiene que agregarle, right? Porque es third person, yes. porque es tercera persona, okay. right? Like. Likes. Likes, aquí está en el ejemplo. Excellent. Las demás están correctas. Todas están correctas. Solo agreguele la S a eso. All right. Let's go, Felix. I like orange and bananas. Mm -hmm. I don't like to eat pasta and beans. My wife cooks meat with potatoes to my daughters. Very good, Felix. Excellent. De verdad no le gusta la pasta. No. Okay. Very good, excellent, thank you. Let's go with Francisco, after Francisco, Josué Granados. I like bra and olive oil. Uh -huh. olive My sister, oil. Uh -huh. aceite de oliva. Uh -huh. Okay. My sister does not like lemon juice. My parents, like candies. Yes, 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 yes. Very good, excellent, Francisco. Let's go with Jose. Okay. I like orange and apple. I don't like bananas and candy. My brother likes yogurt, cheese, and noodles, but he doesn't like pasta and apple. Excellent. Repeat, my brother likes. My brother likes. Excellent. Thank you. Now let's check um, Yolanda Areli, please, Flores. Hola, hola. Hi. Bueno. They have fish and rice for lunch. Mm -hmm. My sister eats a salad every day. I like to eat chicken and vegetables. All right, repita la número dos, please, que el verbo no se lo escuché. Um, my sister mm -hmm. a salad, salad every day. My Pero ahí necesita un verbo, Yolanda. My sister eat, my sister prepare, my sister makes. ¿Qué, ¿Qué hace con la ensalada? ¿La come, la prepara o qué hace? <risa> la como. It's uh, le... Ah, ok. It's. Sí, si le puso it's, excelente, Yolanda. <risa> right. Y en la última también está excelente, Yolanda. Solo repita después de mí. Vegetables. Vegetables. Excellent. Thank you. Very good, Miss. Thanks. Now let me check. Uh, let's go with Patricia Campos, please. I think you're the last one. Okay. Um, I don't like yogurt because of beef is high. Uh, mm -hmm. My host, my husband, doesn't like beans all right excellent patricia only you only have two or you have three um dije las tres okay, <laughs> excellent. Sí, lo que pasa 
Por eso les digo, léanme las tres sentences y si yo no les digo nada es porque está excelente, right? Pero cuando me hacen pausas así, me hacen pensar que no han hecho las tres. Ah, ok. All right, continue, Patricia. Es que sí leí las tres, pero no sé cuál no se me escuchó. La voy a volver a decir. Ok. I, I don't like yogurt. Ajá. Uh -huh. Eh, two. The cost of beef is high. Ah, pues sí. All right, excellent. Uh -huh. y, y my husband doesn't like beans. Excellent. There you go, Miss Campos. Thanks. It's correct. Your sentences Thanks. are correct. Now, everyone, congratulations to you. I hardly notice any mistakes, all right? No hubieran errores que yo les dijera. Qué barbaridad, ya estudiamos el simple present. No, no tuvieron nada que ver de eso, right? Quizás algunos olvidamos la S, pero de ahí nada fuera de lo normal. Y la pronunciación del vocabulary que tenemos que seguir practicando. De ahí todo lo demás, los felicito. Congratulations, right? Conversation, how about some sandwiches? Let's check. Voy a compartir con ustedes el video de la platform. Para que lo hagamos, all right? Aquí vamos a ver en la 4.3, 4.3, 4.3, some and any, count and non-count nouns, in conversation, how about some sandwiches? So let's check, please. Let's pay attention. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn what count and non-count nouns are. Additionally, you'll learn how to use the expressions some and any. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title, How About Some Sandwiches, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm. How about some sandwiches? Okay. We have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right. Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. The first thing that I would like to explain is this concept of count and non-count nouns. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that can be seen around you is a noun. Uh, in English, we have two types of nouns. We have count nouns. and non-count nouns. Count nouns are those things that you can count. As you can see on the chart, an egg, eggs, a sandwich, sandwiches. We can count eggs and sandwiches. Non-count nouns are those things that you can't count because it's possible to count. For example, liquids such as water, lemonade, milk, etc. On the chart you can see a couple of examples. Bread, lemonade. Let's take a look at all the examples on this chart. Some and any. Count and non-count nouns. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes. Let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Count nouns. An egg. Eggs. A sandwich. Sandwiches. Non-count nouns. Bread. Lemonade. Specific. I'm eating an egg. Let's get some bread. General. Eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. Now, what I want you to listen to is the pronunciation, all right? From the conversation and the chart. So now we can practice. Conversation, how about some sandwiches? We have Adam and Amanda. What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwiches? Okay. We have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. 
Do we need any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad, All right? So let's check everybody. Let me have, do I have a volunteer to practice the conversation with me? Yo. Great, Joe. Let me check who Hi, you Joe. are. Moises. Ah, all right, excellent. Uh, you are Adam and Amanda, action. And what do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Excellent. Thank you, Moises. Now let's have Josue Granados and Patricia Campos, please. Josue, you are Anna and Patricia, you are Amanda. Action. What do you want for the picnic? How about some sandwiches? Okay, we had some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. We don't have any shoes. Do we have a um, drink? No, we need some. Or oh, ring, let's get some lemonade. And um, let's buy some potato salad. Sure, every light potato salad. Excellent. Thank you guys for your effort. Let me hear you, Josue. Repeat after me. Um, all right. All right. Sure. Sure. Everyone likes. Every, every, everyone likes. Ajá, exactly. Eh, quítele la E que va después de la, de la V y así le va a ser más fácil, all right? Everyone. Everyone. Mm -hmm. Excellent. There you go. Ya ve? Se le facilitó muchísimo más. Very good, Mr. Granados. Thanks. Let's go with Felix Sanchez. You are Adam. And let me check. Yo, teacher. Excellent. You are Amanda. Jennifer Marisol. Action. What do you want for the picnic? And. Um, how about some, some sandwich? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. Um, let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Excellent, very good, you guys, intonation and rhythm. Muy buena su entonación y el ritmo de la conversation que llevaban, all right? Felix, repeat after me, uh, refrigerator. Refrigerator. Excellent. Jennifer, repite después de mí, sandwiches. Sandwiches. Very good, excellent. Sí, ahí se me comió el plural, all right? Now let's go with mm -hmm. Julio Aguillon. You are Adam. And Vanessa Scarlett, you are Amanda. Action. What do you want for the picnic? How about, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? Uh, no, we need some. All right, let's go some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. 
Excellent. Thank you, Julio. Aquí se comió esta sentence. Esta sentence. Let's get some lemonade. All right, repeat. Let's get some lemonade. Let's get some lemonade. Excellent. Let's go with Omar Chacón. You are Adam. Sandra Guadalupe, usted no ha pasado todavía, ¿verdad? No. Entonces usted será Amanda. Action. What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No. We need some. All right. Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Very good. Excellent. I don't have any comments. Very good. Let's go with Yolanda Flores. You are Amanda. Jorge Luis Castaneda. You are Adam. Action. What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. All right. Very good. Excellent. Good job, Yolanda, with the mm. All right. Me gustó mucho la entonación y el ritmo que le dieron a la conversation. <laughs> yes. Very good. La vivieron la conversation. Jorge, repita después de mí, please. Everyone. Everyone. Y potato. 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 Yes, very good. Vamos okay. con la siguiente pareja que sería Ernesto Portillo. You are Adam. And Yvette, you are Amanda. Action. What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwiches? Okay. We have some chicken in the refrigerator. But uh, we don't have any brain. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Mm -hmm. Sure, every night, late potato salad. Wow, bravo, excellent. Very good, you guys. Great job, excelente. All right, listen up, everyone. Voy a decir esto, no, los, no lo dije después de cada pareja que pasó, porque iba a sonar muy repetitivo y probablemente me iban a seguir cometiendo el mismo mistake, all right? Pero la palabra esta que ven aquí, que estoy apuntando, no se dice refrigerator, no. Es refrigerator, refrigerator, all right? Me lo dijeron como cinco parejas, all right? Y me dijeron lo mismo, refrigerator, refrigerator. Por eso es que a mí, después de que pasa una pareja y escucho que alguien dice eso, me gusta ayudarle con la pronunciation. Pero a veces también me da pena porque pueden pensar, la teacher siempre con la misma palabra, right? Pero yo sé que puede costar, por eso es que usualmente lo hago. Y como todos no pasamos en el ejemplo de las parejas que van pasando, de ahí es que vi que, vi cabal como, como una secuencia, cinco parejas me dijeron refrigerator, refrigerator, y era refrigerator, right? So we need to be careful with that. So now let's move on to the rest. Check. So what are nouns? In the video, if you notice, they explained what nouns were. Si ustedes se fijaron, en el video les explicaron que eran los nouns. Simplemente que se los explican, obviamente la, el teacher hablando en inglés, pero a ustedes les aparece la translation, no les aparece en inglés. Por eso es que yo me veo obligada a ponerlo en inglés, porque es necesario que usted conozca en español y en inglés algunas cosas, ¿verdad? Right? 
So what are nouns? A noun equals, el símbolo de igual, all right? Se dice equals, equals a person, a place, or a thing. In other words, many things that you see around you are nouns. Un sustantivo equivale a una persona o es igual a una persona, un lugar o un objeto, right? En otras palabras, muchas de las cosas que vemos alrededor de nosotros son sustantivos, all right? Son nouns. So there you go. It's the same information that the teacher mentioned in the video. Let me ask... Um, Julio Guillón, can you read the same information, please, once again? A noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. In other words, many things that you see around you are known. Excellent. Thank you, right? We have, let me check. Yeah, this one is a strange one. Okay, let's go with... Omar Chacón, please, can you read again? Solo no me le voy a poner la S aquí al principio, Omar, a noun, right? A noun. Ok, ¿cómo dice que se dice eso como igual? Equals. Equals. Uh -huh. Ok. A noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. In other words, many things that you see around you are nouns. Excellent. Very good. And let's okay, go with the last one. Y vamos con la última. Andreita Solorzano, please, me lee la misma information. All right, maybe she's busy. Let's listen to Sandra Guadalupe. Can you read the information, please? Okay. A uh, noun equal a person, a place, or a time. In other words, many things that you see around, you are known. Thank you. All right, so now I ask, ahora le pregunto a Vanessa Scarlett, what is a noun, Vanessa? What are nouns? In the, in the, the dialogue? Oh, no. ¿Ah? In the dialogue. No, no, no. Ya le estoy, lo cambié para que usted no lo lea aquí porque ya lo tiene que tener en su cuaderno. ¿Qué son los nouns? What are nouns? Person. A place in, in things. All right, excellent. Thank you, Vanessa. Yvette Aguirre, what are nouns, Yvette? A noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. In other words, many things that you see around you are nouns. Excellent. Thank you, right? Mañana les voy a volver a preguntar lo mismo porque es esencial que todos conozcan que es un sustantivo, right? Now, let's check the following. Vamos a checar la siguiente information, all right? Some and any count and non-count nouns. Esto no, no lo necesitan copiar, all right? Porque ya lo vamos a ver más adelante. Tal vez pueden copiar algunas sentences donde se utiliza el any y el some. Do you need, do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. Mire, and el noun, el sustantivo está entre paréntesis, everybody, right? Es, eh, por ejemplo, eggs, eggs, bread, bread, está entre paréntesis porque usted, si quiere decirlo, lo va a decir, si no, no lo diga, all right? Puede estar omitido. Por ejemplo, do we need any bread? Yo simplemente puedo decir, yes, let's get some. Y me quedo hasta ahí. O puedo decir, yes, let's get some bread. Y de ahí, no, we don't need any. No, we don't need any bread. Count nouns. I need eggs. 
a sandwich, sandwiches. Por eso es que les digo, es súper importante pronunciar las S que al final nos aparecen, ¿verdad? Right? Porque así se distingue si es plural o singular. Eh, Non-cut nouns. Bread, lemonade. A specific. I'm eating an egg. Let's get some bread. General. Eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. Now, listen up, my dear students. Um, for tomorrow's class, we are going to continue working on the section number four. Para la clase de mañana, continuamos con la sección cuatro, all right? Así que ahorita los voy a dejar ir para que puedan continuar en la platform por si no han trabajado en ella durante el día. If you have any questions or doubts, let me know. Tienen dudas o consultas, me hacen saber, all right? So I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Have a Bye. good night. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye. Good night. Take care. Take care. <laughs>